Hi guys, my name is Srinio Tamana. I'm in 6th grade and I'm in Woodrow Middle School. So, many people like us have wondered, hmm, what will happen to our sun in 7 billion years? We know that Earth revolves around the sun and we people think that the sun will stay there forever. But no, 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 no. That is not true. Today, we're going to be talking about what will happen to the sun in 7 billion years. So, first let's talk about how the sun and earth were formed. So, because this um, involves both of those um, objects. So, the sun is not a planet or asteroid or comet or whatever it is. It's just a big ball of gas, like Jupiter or Saturn or all of the gas giants. It, its gases are hydrogen and helium. No oxygen, no nitrogen, no water vapor, no nothing. And both of those elements fused together in, in the core of the star, which makes, it, makes, which makes the star power really hot. And it's really hot. And that's what, that, that's what makes Earth um, warm and that's how it supports life. So the sun is very important. So the sun has a lifespan of more than 8 billion years. The sun was active for more than 4 billion years onward. And it has more than it has only seven billion years left to live. So now let's figure out what will happen to it. So four billion years ago the sun was formed. Okay? And and also rocks and dust combined to form the earth, okay? And then um in one billion years the sun's luminosity would will increase by ten percent and and it would get hotter and hotter every day. And it would get hotter than the greenhouse. And it would become a big greenhouse. And it would get super hot. And people have to throw water on their faces. Which is all get super hot. And then in 5 billion years, sun, the sun's luminosity will increase by 40%. And it would get much, much hotter that it will start expanding. By the way, expanding means like, like expanding, that's what we mean. So it's becoming bigger and bigger. And the sun will ri run out of hydrogen in five billion years and it will turn into a red giant star. Remember we talked about the, li the life cycle of stars? A red giant is a star from normal stars. Um, check out the video if you don't know it. So it will become a red giant star and due to which Earth will receive more and more heat. Earth will become a burning planet like Venus. And and all due to all the life and plants and animals and everything will die and all the oceans will evaporate so we won't have any water to live, no food too, fire. So and then the sun will start expanding, 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 expanding. And then in the last stage of the sun, in seven point five billion years, the sun will the sun's luminosity it will increase by a hundred, I think, and then it's it will start expanding more faster and faster and faster. That it will it will um swallow Mercury, Venus, and Earth, and it will eat our planet. So our planet will sink into the sun, and then bye bye. That's how the Earth will die. And then after all of that, Mars won't get um swallowed. Remember. And then the sun will start shrinking, 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 shrinking. And then nothing is left but a, but a planetary nebula. And there is a small little white dwarf in the middle. Remember, a white dwarf, a white dwarf is a star which is really hot at first. But then over millions of years, it will slowly become a black dwarf. So that is what will happen to the sun in 7 billion years. So do not, please, please, after watching my video, do not get scared. We have a little 7 billion years to go. So our sun is good as, as it is. Don't get, don't let this video get you furious nightmares. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and will. See you on next time, bud. Bye.